Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise here with the Florida Power Boat Club, Stu Jones and Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio as we look back at May of 2022 for the annual Orange Beach Power Boat Week presented by the Wharf. And this has turned out to be an exciting poker run with uh, 55 registered teams from all over the states. And we are back at it now with episode two and feature coverage of three days of boating fun here at Orange Beach, Alabama. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2022 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their authorized sales center, Plantation Boat Mart. Mystic Power Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, and their authorized sales center, Top Gun Yachts, Cigarette Dealer, Chief Marine Group, Midnight Express Power Boats, Big Thunder Marine, Concept Boats, Performance Boat Center, Mercury Racing, and Florida Powerboat Club's longest running sponsor, Nortec High Performance Boats. And we'd like to introduce these additional sponsors now for three years in a row. Alicomp Insurance has returned. Grander Marine Dealers for Fountain and Invincible Boats. And this year, a special guest, the Tops Powerboat Club from Texas are here to join us. And for episode two, let's get everybody back up to speed. When we left off, we were boating on this beautiful Friday. So let's go back to Friday morning. There's the Florida Powerboat Club 15 passenger van sponsored by Sanders Ford. And yes, indeed, our driver Darren brought this rig all the way from South Florida over 700 miles so you guys could have a ride around the parking lot. <laughs> There's a brand new Nortec 392 came from Louisiana and the Bent Marine Nortec 452 with Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. Another center console that's a Deep Impact 36 that came all the way from Texas to join us. And another Deep Impact, this one a 399 from Mississippi, that's beer money. And the more you look around these docks here at the wharf, you see really a colorful mix of all makes and models of power boats, whether it's center consoles or high performance V bottoms like Team Heart on, classic 38 foot Donzies from Georgia, and this very rare cigarette rum runner 46 Rough Rider came from Texas. And look at the high performance engines in this beast. This is really the kind of stuff you're going to see at the Orange Beach Powerboat Week. And the only thing that's more colorful than these boats are the people that drive them. And we are very proud of our members and our participants here at this event year after year. And they all had a great turnout for our Friday morning captain's safety meeting here under the tent at the wharf. And that means we're getting ready to go out boating and enjoy this beautiful Friday. And this is how we get started again on this Friday morning with Caitlin on the left, Sandra on the right, our FPC girls who came out to join us for the weekend. They're going to be handing off the first poker card as we now see Stephen Doomer and his crew from Mississippi and Team Loose Cannon. Yes, indeed, it looks a lot like that Rum Runner cigarette. It's a 38-foot model, but it is painted by the same artist, uh, the Art of Design, a very similar design as Stephen gets his first card and heads out into the Intracoastal. While the rest of the teams come in for their poker card, and this is the lovely Lana, Lana Albert, uh, her husband Mark, at the helm of this Lickalonipus. It's a 38-foot fountain. Mercury Racing 700. She's the fast ride, and we have seen them attend so many poker runs. They love coming to the Emerald Coast event, and we're glad they could join us here in Orange Beach. And we told you that you're going to see a lot of center consoles, but you're only going to see one of this model. This is George and Carrie Olson from Texas in their 35-foot Mar-a-Lago. Built a lot of these back in the 90s uh, for law enforcement. And this is currently the only Mar-a-Lago we have in the club. And here's that fountain that I really love. It's kind of a crossover model. Somebody help me out. I think it's called an SCX. Anyway, Skimming Stones belongs to Mike Stone from Texas. Uh, and I just love this boat because it's got a big wide beam, lots of cockpit space, triple Mercury 350 Verados. Uh, what a great ride. Good for poker runs and obviously very popular for fishing as well. Now let's say hi to Keith Johnston and his crew from Louisiana in this 42-foot Outer Limits Legacy, a boat that has a pretty cool backstory. It's an 06 model, triple Merc 525s was once owned by the late Michael Fiore. This was his own personal boat. And of course, a tragic ending uh, to the former founder and owner of Outer Limits. We lost Michael in a terrible boat crash at Lotto just a few years back. And so happy to see Terrell and Laura Haydock back in their 36 Sensation SSR Mercury Racing 700s. They've done the Emerald Coast poker run so many times, but it's their very first time to join us here in Orange Beach, Alabama. And they've got a huge crew on board ready for a great day of boating. 
And we now get a closer look at this big Nortec 452, sponsored by Bent Marine, Robert Sengelman and his wife and crew on board, all the way from Louisiana for Mercury Racing 450Rs. And look closely, guys, you got the big tower there, but they're not fishing today. When they want to go fast, all they got to do is fold it down. And let's say hi to Sean Porter and his crew from Texas Tops. And he's got a lovely bow bunny up there getting the card, and there she goes. Now, the funny thing about this boat, it's not actually Sean's. His boat wasn't ready to make it, so he borrowed this 35-foot Donzi. Hey, it's good to have boating friends. And it's Mark and Eileen Fisher, our sponsors from Deep Impact Boats, and they are a long way from home in South Florida, all the way from Marathon in the Florida Keys, probably 750 miles to get here, and they are enjoying the ride on this brand new Deep Impact 399. That's a full cabin edition. Check out the power, Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. Yes, I decided that's the boat I'm riding on. And it is the lovely Margaret who's got the duty of picking up the poker card here for Team Savage. Uh, Chad Haven's at the helm. And uh, he's got his uh, girlfriend and his buddy Josh, and this is Margaret, who's always with Josh as they attend a lot of poker runs uh, with FPC from South Florida all the way to the Panhandle. And the fun continues as uh, team fully involved comes up, Larry and Heather Montalero in this 34-foot MTI, their first run with this new cat. And it's the lovely Rachel Odo on board this 38-foot cigarette top gun called Loaded Gun. Her husband Vince at the helm, and they are also here with the Tops Club. And I believe that Vince is either a current or former president of the Tops Club. They have a big group here, almost 20 teams registered from Texas. And it's another Nortec 390 pulling up to the dock. Preston and Haley Collins from Texas in real deep. And uh, kind of funny to look back over the years and have seen Preston do so many runs. Back in the day, his first run, I think it was in a 26-foot velocity, was Emerald Coast, and he's come a long way since. These MTI cats have a really good showing here on this event. Wayne and Courtney Perkins from Texas, 34-foot MTI Mercury Mule. According to my records, I think this is the best turnout for MTI on this event ever, and we'll just keep on seeing more. And it's Team Beer Money 2, now that Deep Impact 399, and the lovely Miss T, who's uh, first mate for the owner, Paul Bertusi. They came from Mississippi to join us, and that's just a hop, skip, and a jump across Mobile Bay, so they come on their own bottom every time. And if you don't believe what I said about all the MTIs, well, here's another one. In fact, Clark Beecher just took delivery of this MTI 390X here at the event, thanks to Steven Fernandez and the gang at TNT Marine Sales. And it looks like we're back up with the helicopter. Remember, we flew out of the Jack Edwards Air Force Base. It's only about five minutes away from the wharf. One more reason why this is such a great venue. So in about 30 or 40 seconds, uh, this helicopter is over the wharf. And as you look really closely, you'll see all the poker run boats have already headed out on the Intracoastal. I see Beer Money 2 leaving the dock, and that means they picked up our FPC girls. Uh, so they got some precious cargo on board today as they cruise their way through the Intracoastal, remember it's a bit of a ride to get over to the inlet. So we've got, I think, a 10 or 12 mile ride through the ICW. You can go fast. We highly recommend that you don't go like 100 miles an hour, but if you go 30 or 40 or 50, you're doing just fine. But it's a very scenic ride. And uh, as they make their way eastbound on the Intracoastal waterway, and it takes about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes to get to the inlet. And that's where everybody's headed today. In fact, we're going to stop and do a poker card uh, before we go out into the Gulf. What a great platform this uh, Deep Impact 399 is for poker runs. And, you know, we generally will have anywhere from eight to nine, sometimes 10 people on board. And everyone's got plenty of room to sit and enjoy the ride, whether you're going fast or slow. And now you can see the change in the color of the water. And that's because we're now getting very close to the inlet. It's called Perdido Pass, and that will get us out into the Gulf Coast waters. And speak of those waters, they look absolutely beautiful today, very calm, and that's what we had crossed our fingers and hoped for. So we're going to pick up the group now as they head eastbound to Pensacola Beach. And remember, we already had several boats on the previous episode, so we're just picking things up here now as we catch up with Steve and Lynn Turner, Miami Two-Step. This is a 38-foot cigarette Top Gun. The year of this boat, 2000 the year of my straight bottom boat, 2000. Go figure, guys. So basically, 
My 38 gun and Steve's boat were made at the cigarette factory in Miami around the same time, and that is the year that the, the Twin Step cigarette was created, and they went right into offshore racing with that hull. And let's say hi now to Team No Complaints. Uh, this is Bill and Jen Howell from Georgia. They came about 400 miles on the trailer here the first time this new Nortec is in salt water. And Bill suggested that he brought along a couple of extra limes uh, to go with that. <laughs> but I love the spirit of this team. Uh, team, no complaints. And no, they're not complaining at all. And I'm not complaining either because uh, one of his first mates there putting on a nice show with her new bikini. Uh, a fun team here in this brand new Nortec. Thanks for joining us. And it's a very special welcome to Grander Marine, the local fountain dealer here in Orange Beach, Alabama. And again, one of our sponsors for their second year in a row. And uh, Chris Bazer is the name that we have on the registration list. But of course, Chris is a hardworking guy. He's back at the store today working deals and selling boats. So he sent one of his customers in this 38-foot fountain center console, triple Merc 300 outboards. You can see it's rigged for fishing. But today it's just cruising, and this captain's got the boat dialed in for a nice ride up the coastal waters. And always time for another cigarette. This is a 38 Top Gun Team Loose Cannon, Stephen Doomer from Mississippi. 38 gun with twin Mercury Racing 525s and love that art of design paint job. It's a 2004 model and strikingly similar to that 2004 46 Rough Rider Rum Runner, which just happens to be here at the very same run. What are the chances of that? Looks like it's a boys run today. They left the wives and girlfriends back at home. Not far from home, that is, Biloxi, Mississippi. They came here on their own hull a day early. It's only about a one-hour ride. And going to spend some time now with Cruz Rutherford and her crew from the Glass Dream Powerboat Factory, Dothan, Alabama, not far away, just about three hours. They trailered in for the run. This is a brand-new 360 LS model, triple 400 Mercs uh, on the back, and they introduced this boat at the Miami Boat Show just a couple of months earlier in February. And running alongside, look at that, another white center console. This time it's a 30 concept team rehab. John Van Dyke all the way from Michigan. Pair of Mercury 350 Verados. It says 350 racing. Mm, I don't know about that, but look at, he is just hammering it today and putting on a good show here with this concept. And all the way from Michigan, I'm pretty impressed by that, guys. And let's welcome uh, Brandon and Naomi Seegers, uh, who are running their first time on Orange Beach here in this 43-foot Donzi pair of Mercury Racing 700s NXT1 drives and that is a great package in fact it's nice to know this boat stayed in the club used to do poker runs under a different name and uh, this is the first time team buyout has joined us Brandon tells us that he recently sold his company so now he's got time to play so this is kind of their coming out party here with team buyout glad you guys could join us looking good here in this Donzi 43 well, birds of a feather flock together. This time it's another Donzi. This is a 38ZX model. Got the big cabin down below. Philip Smith from Georgia, Twin Mercury Racing 525s. And good to see Philip and his crew back. Looks like the ladies are in the back having a nice time and uh, smiling for the helicopter. And uh, got a big crew on board. Not their first time with the club. Certainly not the first time here. They're back again. Love this event. And they also love the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And there's that Sunsation 34 CCX, a beautiful boat. John and Connie Fami from Georgia, uh, Southern Yankee. And uh, they do spend a lot of time on our events. They love the Emerald Coast event. Uh, but they spend more time in Florida now than ever before. They bought a house in Mary Esther, which is right over there by Fort Walton Beach, not too far away. That means they didn't have to trailer here. They were able to come here on their own bottom. They confessed in their video bio that they kind of missed the big horsepower. They once had an outer limits that went over 100 miles an hour. Well, guys, we totally get it. And speaking of big horsepower and going fast, well, that's exactly what they're doing here in Team Savage. We actually call the boat Savage Skater because the previous Savage was a DCB 35. That's the boat that Chad brought here his first time on Orange Beach a few years back. It was a real hot rod with Mercury Racing 1350s, but I think Chad has grown to like the ride on this 40 skater, which is powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And we haven't seen that DCB for a while, so clearly this is the ideal boat for these poker runs, especially when we're running offshore in this coastal chop. And joining the Savage crew today, Josh Tompkins and his lady, Large Marge. Well, will you look at that? Another MTI cat. 
Hmm, that brings us to what, seven, maybe eight MTI cats on the run? Craig and Paula Ackerman uh, from Georgia, it's their second MTI. They started out with a 34, but now having fun in this 390X and the default engine package, Mercury Racing 450Rs. But look at the coordinated colors on this boat from the hull sides all the way down to the engine cowlings. This boat is dialed in, not only in looks, but the way she's running today. Craig's got a lot of seat time in this boat now, and they just love their MTI. I know if they had enough time, they would do every Pokemon run with us, but I think they're averaging five to six runs a year. And it's another big outer limits. And when I say big, 51 feet and triple Mercury Racing 700s, guys. Doesn't get much better than that when it comes to doing poker runs. You just put the throttles forward and just hang on for the ride and steer the boat. Octavio Valdivia at the helm. It's his boat. He's got his buddies on board. It looks like Robbie Eula is at the helm beside him. And he's actually got two boats entered. His 44 concept is somewhere in the vicinity here, I know for sure. Uh, but just cruising along here at a nice 65, 70 miles per hour in these conditions. I just wish we had figured out to put all three of these outer limits running together. That would have been the true money shot for this Orange Beach event. And another MTI cat. This time it's a 34 MTI. Larry and Heather Montalera from Louisiana. Team fully involved, and that is an appropriate name because to do this sport, you have to be fully involved. Altogether, seven MTIs on a roster of about 55 boats. That's a strong showing for the brand, which is manufactured in Missouri. And now back with the center consoles. This time it's Mike Stone in his fountain. It's a 2006 38 LX, which is kind of a rare model. Didn't see a lot of these in the club. Maybe I've had one or two. I kind of like it. It's a big beamy, a 10 foot five or 10 six beam, a triple Merc 275s. Great running boat. And here's that cigarette top gun again. Uh, this is Vince and Rachel Odo and their crew. Team loaded gun, 38 foot cigarette top gun. And uh, the former or maybe past president, the Tops Club. And uh, we've seen this boat and this crew on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Little question I have though, guys. Uh, nobody's wearing life jackets here in the boat. Hauling ass about 65, 70 out here in the open Gulf waters. But just uh, a little earlier in the day when Rachel came up to the dock for their poker card, wasn't she wearing a life jacket? Uh, let's, yeah, yeah, there she is. She's wearing a life jacket to get the card. And like magic, it's gone. Okay, let's say hi now to George and Kerry Olson. We saw them earlier getting their poker card in this 35-foot Mar-a-Lago, the one and only Mar-a-Lago in the club. Funny story, George used to run around in a 42-foot Fountain Lightning high-performance V-bottom. Seems to enjoy slowing down a little bit. He's certainly saving a lot of money on gas. The center console with twin 350s doesn't burn much fuel at all. Look how comfortable the ladies are sitting up in the bow in their little queen seats. Can't do that on a 42-foot Fountain Lightning, can ya? And now we're joining a team, Burning Daylight, uh, JT and Brenda Byrne, who have been here before. Uh, they love this uh, Orange Beach event. And uh, kind of cool that they did two back-to-back -back weekends. They were at the Tikfa last weekend. They left the boat in Louisiana for a few days and then trailered the rest of the way here to the wharf. And we're gonna score more points for the performance V-bottoms here on this event with this really cool 36-foot sensation. I sedate you. Terrell and Laura Haydock uh, all the way from Texas. And nice to see this boat back. They got it brand new way back 2011. Geez, 12 years ago. A really unique sensation. One of the few ever built. And now catching up with uh, Sean Porter and his crew from Texas in this 35-foot Donzi team going deep. And we met Sean back uh, oh, about a year earlier, back at the Key West Poker Run in the earlier fall, 2021. Uh, they did the event in a 33-foot deep impact. Uh, and they still have that deep impact and all the way back in Texas getting ready for the event. And something happened with that boat. So he was able to reach out to a friend in the club, uh, the Tops Club, and got his hands on this really cool 35 Donzi, and as I said earlier, it's nice to have friends that'll loan you their performance boat. You don't see that a lot these days, so I'm glad that worked out for Sean and his crew. And here's a boat that I've been waiting to get a close look at again, Octavio and Karen Valdivia's Concept 44, but at the helm today, the Concept factory man himself. Yes, Eric Avila, uh, who actually his family owns Concept, has come all the way from Miami to join Octavio and his family and all their crew members, and actually, take the helm of this Concept 4400. 
which as you get a closer look is a pretty incredible poker run machine. Uh, it's got that uh, huge cabin down below. Quad Mercury Racing 400 hours, a great running boat and plenty of room for all your friends. So there they are now running together. So uh, both of Octavio and Karen's boats now the concept, uh, which I know they're using it a lot more these days. But Octavio, you know, he's like the rest of us. He still has a lot of performance uh, race fuel going through his veins. <laughs> so that 2100 horsepower uh, outer limits is uh, just his cup of tea for the day. And you can see he's gotten on the throttles. But look at Eric. Eric's like, uh-uh, you're not getting away from me. <laughs> He pushes the throttles down. Look at that step hull perform. And look at this concept come up to speed. You can see he trimmed it back a little, and he is hammered down and catching up, running probably well over 70 miles per hour right now in this concept. So this is the kind of fun you can have in these big performance center consoles. So let's backtrack now in the segment. Uh, we're still on Friday morning, but we're actually going to go back to the card stop number two. And we've got some great shots now as we're going to be pulling up to the dock at the Favre residence uh, to get card number two. You can see the beautiful color of the water and those little sandy shoals. It's fairly shallow here. Remember, we're just inside the Perdido Pass. But you can see the peninsula coming out here, which is Marina Drive, and then off in the distance of the hotels. and so many restaurants in the area so many cool places to visit and you can just kind of putt putt around and look off in the distance you see those little islands with sandbars this is what makes orange beach such a boating playground that has something for everybody a nice shot there now of the Favre residence obviously a landmark luxurious home uh, um, that you know mr Favre built years ago and that is his 92 viking it's called a work of art uh, that is under the, the boathouse, covered uh, boathouse. That's a tournament fishing Viking. He does a lot of events with it. Now as we catch up to the Haydocks pulling up to the dock to get their poker card. And uh, everybody just kind of taking their time and uh, don't like to see the uh, lovely legs dangling over the side. That's dangerous. But I know that Sean Porter's got his hands on the throttle. He knows what he's doing. But we always try to discourage people from letting their legs hang over the side, especially when they're attached to a bikini. But uh, here's that Nortec 392. Uh, this is team post call coming up to the dock with uh, Kristen McCarty and all of her gal pals up in the bow of the boat. Looks like they got their little cowboy hats on today. Kind of got a theme going and certainly a very spirited team every event that they attend. Well, guys, uh, you can see a lot of fun here on the docks. That is uh, Serenity on the left, Brittany holding the poker card. And uh, that is uh, Queen Mom there in the yellow. That is uh, <laughs> Amber, who's organized everything for us, and she's done such a great job picking some lovely ladies to help us with the cards. And speaking of lovely ladies, Charles Clark and his crew on this 36-foot deep impact. Guys, I think I'm just loving my job more and more all the time. It really doesn't get old because you really have all these people that come from so many places, so many states, and you just keep meeting all these new teams and making new friends. And this is what I love about boating and I love about poker runs because it doesn't end here in Orange Beach. You know, we have events with the Florida Powerball Club all over the state of Florida and now here in Alabama. And then in the summertime, we could go back to Texas and join these guys and do some of their events. You know, this Tops Club does at least five or six poker runs in the summer months uh, throughout Texas. Uh, and of course, the Fishers right there in their Deep Impact 399 now. 
the shot from on board. Uh, actually got a chance to ride with them. There's Eileen reaching out for her card. And this this crew here, you know, Mark and Eileen, they're for 20 years now, they've been doing poker runs. They go everywhere. They've probably done more than 100 poker runs, and it doesn't matter what boat they own at the time. They just want to be there. It's such a fun crew. There's uh, And there's Mark at the helm, and then your FPC girls, Jackie and Megan, who run the FPC office, and uh, take care of all your needs when you call into the club office. So plenty of fun here at Card Stop number two, Friday morning at the Favre Residence. And uh, we thought we would just use this segment to end our boating portion of the show today, guys, for this Friday run. Lots more to come. But remember, we've got those lovely ladies uh, doing the Thursday night Miss Orange Beach Powerboat Week. And uh, as Caitlin uh, gives us a wave, we're going to head back to the wharf for that Thursday night party and give you the next round. And in fact, it is Paul Bertusi from Team Beer Money, who's our sponsor for the Thursday night event along with Chad Havens from Team Savage. Heron Point now is the venue that we had uh, for the first time here at the wharf. It's a kind of a classic old two-story home that is used uh, very often for special events, mostly weddings. But alongside in the parking lot, we were able to set up a giant event tent. And this was the first time that we've really done this event outside. We really didn't have any choice because the port had been closed down for renovations. But the management team here at the wharf said, you know what, Stu, don't worry about it. We use this uh, venue for weddings all the time with the big tent, and we'll set you up nicely. And that's exactly what they did. So we had catered parties here every night. And uh, with the tent and the music and the lighting and the stage, it was just a, a perfect setup. And we were situated right across from the amphitheater. So it was just a short walk from the hotels, uh, from the luxury condos and from the Spring Hill Suites. But of course, we had our uh, shuttle van working all night long. So all the lovely ladies doing the black bikini segment right now. And that is a signature of Amber's shows. I like the way she does it because we did the walkout in the cocktail dress for the first round. And then it's black bikini for round two. So all the ladies getting to choose their favorite black bikini to a uh, walkout and uh, I really did a great job. I think everyone would agree that it was a classy show with a lot of very pretty ladies and they carried themselves so well. We got to give them a big round of applause because remember guys, uh, these girls are coming out here in these skimpy little bikinis <laughs> and they don't know any of you. And there's like 200 people sitting out there and they're like, okay, I'm walking half naked in front of a bunch of people and I'm getting judged. <laughs> but that's the beauty of this because you're getting judged in a good way because we're actually just trying to pick the best lady who's going to win the Miss Powerboat Week contest. But we're so glad that all of you are here to put on a beautiful show. And we are so happy that most of the girls here in the contest actually stayed for the entire weekend and joined us for the poker run, doing things like handing off the poker cards and being hostesses and greeters uh, at the functions. And of course, riding with us on the boats on the poker run so that's what i like about this format and amber does a great job of finding us some lovely ladies uh here's the jay lynn uh, one of the new girls we've seen now here for the first time coming out for the contest so what a great show she put on let's enjoy this black bikini segment Well, that was the lovely Sage who came all the way from Daytona Beach to join us. And now let's say hi to Serenity. I know you recognize her. She was the one who did the poker card at the Favre residence in our last segment. And again, that's what I like about these ladies who come out to be in the contest. They're actually here for the entire weekend. And so many of them tell us afterwards, Stu, can we do another one? Can we come back and do another poker run? Because they get treated so well by all of you guys. And it's so respectful and it's such a great show for everybody as we now see Abby. Uh, It's her first time 
and you can't hear the bio, but she is a fitness uh, guru, actually a fitness instructor and owns her own gym. And you can tell just how what a great physical condition she's in. A very pretty girl, and uh, she's going to round out this segment as our 10th finalist uh, for round two. And here's all the ladies coming back out. Uh, what a great show, and uh, thanks to everybody for coming out to support the event. Once again, sponsored by Paul Bertuzzi in Beer Money and also by Chat Havens from Team Savage. So that wraps up uh, episode two with feature coverage of our third annual Orange Beach Powerboat Week from Alabama. And guys, what a great show that was. Packed with action and excitement, colorful powerboats, pretty ladies, and people just having fun on the waterways. we got plenty more to come with episode three and four down the pipeline from our Pompano Beach studio. So guys, when those shows come out, you want to be the first to watch them. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new show is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page. And you guys know who you are. And I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.